My name is Andy Seiler, and I've come all the way from Ocala, Florida to be with you here tonight. And it is an honor and a privilege to be part of the Clark County Fair and Rodeo. All right, so we're at the Clark County Fair and Rodeo, and what you it came like whining up saying man. what? I got bit by a flying ant. A flying ant, all red and welted. Holy cow! I guess you need some pest control, huh? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, went out to Southern Nevada for a livestock association uh, fair, and the reason we went out there is we're actually donating to the Junior Livestock Association and some of the people that are associated with it. So they call it uh, incentive monies and we went out there to give some incentive monies to the Matheson kids because uh, they called me and asked me if I would donate. We need a little assistance from all of you in the grandstands. This cold nose 85 and a half is not gonna be easy to beat. Okay, so we're behind the scenes at the Junior Livestock Show here in Southern Nevada. This is the pig arena. Uh, they do have goats and they do have steers as well, but we're donating to the Mathesons and their uh, showing of the pigs. So what, what do you guys got here? Our hogs. The official pig of Silver State Outdoors. Make sure you tag them below. You guys got blue ribbons in your market? Yep. Yeah. All right. Curtin, Brooke Sherwood, Brock Eastman, Andy Weber, Emily Matheson, Shamden Matheson, Addie Hillius, Gabby Potter, Tatum Yardley, and Maddox Davis. What's going on here? So he's, he's moving around the ring. He wants to see you keep the animal in front of him. Okay. But at the same time, he wants to see all angles of the animal so that he can judge the animal based on how it presents okay. and how you present it. Move the animal to show that they've got some showmanship skills. Not work only, with their animals. Not only that, but it's on top of that, how well they've worked with their animal. Does their animal obey their commands? Their, there are some kids out there that their animals are poor. Cool. wearing a cheetah shirt <laughs> and you see the diamonds on his belt right Did you see that? Am I <laughs> he's he's known as the uh, <laughs> the flamboyant judge his name is Ryan Rash and he actually has quite a few followers he's had a TV show he goes to a lot of the Junior Livestock Association uh, shows and, and judges. Uh, he's, he's the rhinestone cowboy. 
that's for sure. Pretty interesting. So would you consider your buddy? We have the, we share the same first name. I think that's all we share. <laughs> but we both have cowboy boots, but I'll bet they're different colors. <laughs> so can we just take a moment and appreciate the style? I'm a fan of the belt with the diamond studs all the way around. And his belt buckle. Let's give these ten finalists a nice round of applause. Super good set out here. And, uh, you know, showmanship is one of those things you either love to judge it or you hate to judge it. There's no in-between. Fortunately for y'all or unfortunately for y'all, I'm one that loves to judge showmanship. And I think it's a really important part because I tell people at all the shows I go to, not everybody can have the grand champion animal. You can be the grand champion kid. You win that by winning showmanship, so it is important. And uh, this is a good set. And uh, again, uh, I've been called lots of things in my life, but slow and indecisive have never been amongst them. So we will move through it efficiently because I don't think that showmanship should be an endurance contest or a quiz bowl or an obstacle course. So if that's what you were looking for or hoping for, I can save you the rest of the day and tell you to go on home because that's not what you're gonna get out of here. Give a nice round of applause. Very good job out here today. Young lady right here is going to be fourth. Congratulations to you. That young lady, that's the mark of a good showman. When everything isn't going your way and you're still able to get it done, that's what impresses me. Anything you want to say about his attire? or? I'll bet he's got as much money in makeup as I've got in guns and ammunition. <laughs> I'm just saying. This guy, I think, I think, he may be wearing some sort of eyelash something. Do you know anything about that? No, I don't know if he wears eyelashes. His hair is always nice, that's for sure. <laughs> What's your favorite part of his giddy apple? Absolutely, hands down the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about the animal prints. <laughs> I don't know if he's considered a cowboy. Well, I'll, I'll consider it. <laughs> Boots and a bell buckle. <laughs> Congratulations to our senior showman. In fifth place, Shandon Matheson. All right, so you go from different age groups and age brackets, kind of like they do in sports, uh, because your upper tier obviously have more experience. So we're now going to the younger group, and they're now going to be showing, showing their skills and what they've learned. So I wondered what was going on with these dudes in there with the big red plastic boards and then they, I guess they use them to separate the air, but uh, gosh dang, I wish I had that for my kids at home. They get all feisty and squirrely. Bleep. See ya. Cut off. We'll put you in a pen. You don't. You? <laughs> Suckers. So have you seen a livestock association show before or uh, an, an auction at all? So when they're smacking around those pigs, those hogs, which what's your thoughts on that? I mean, you want one of those for your husband? I definitely do. <laughs> Lead him where you want it. It could come in handy. <laughs> Junior Showmanship Swine Contest. The exhibitors that are currently in the ring and have made the cut: Gabriella Martin, Still Yard.
Hey, so uh, after the show, I went over and caught up with the Matheson kids. And uh, here's what we got to go with that. All right, Shandon, you've been doing this for how long? Seven years. Seven years? Okay. What's the highest you've ever played in sh placed in showmanship? Third, I think. Okay, how'd you do today? I took fifth. Fifth? That's not bad. It was a big, big group. Yeah, Judge was a little tough today, right? Yeah. Good job, though. All right, so Emily, we thought you were going to get first place. Yeah. How'd you end up placing today? Not at all. You didn't place? What's the highest you've ever placed? Uh, second. So what do you think the deal was today? He just doesn't like the way I show or the style, but it's okay. Judge, judge has been tough with you today, right? Yep. But what do you learn from this? Uh, just not to let it get you down. Just keep your head up. And it's one person's opinion. That's right. It's one person's opinion. Good job today. All right. How'd you do today? I did good. What's your name? My name is Mackenzie. Mackenzie Matheson. And you did... Uh, did you end up placing? No, but if I did, I would have taken six because I'm good. Oh, okay. But next time, right? Yeah. You're learning some life lessons with this. All right. Thanks. All right, Megan. How'd you do today? Good. How'd you place? I took fourth. You took fourth overall? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty good, right? How many kids were in your <coughs> entire group? <coughs> well, in the judging part, the final, there was 10. Yeah. Overall, there was probably, what, 40 or 50? Good job. Congratulations. What What did the judge say to you that, I don't know, I was kind of shocked. He said that he thought that I was very calm and collected and a relaxed showman and that I was comfortable in the ring. He loved my style of showing, but that my pig got lost a couple times. So he gave the grand champion the uh, one that his pig was getting lost and fighting, grand champion, but you, you, your pig got lost, huh? Yeah. Well, I hope you find it. Yeah. <laughs> so the kids, when they get bored, they head on out into the pavilion, open area, and they start doing a little bit of freestyle rodeo. But uh, is that judged? The roping? It's stuff? not. It's just good times out chilling with your buddies. It's actually called the Poor Man's Rodeo. It's for uh, those that don't have horses. Their horses just done, gone up and left them. Headers and healers, that's what they call them. That's what they normally do that with. It's too expensive. It's the poor man. So was that room. practice or was that for real? That's just downtime. That, that's how they date in Southern Nevada. <laughs> they rope them? Yep. <laughs> All right. Drag them home. Do you have any comments about the ropers? Um, I definitely thought the rodeos, there was animals involved. <laughs> I was expecting, uh, you know, more live action. <laughs> like a guy running around getting bucked off of a horse. Yes, yes. Le less horse on that one. <laughs> Coming on in. All right, here we go, Shannon. We're going to have a good hard ride there. Five minutes, we're going to be fine. Five minutes, we're going to have four. Five minutes, we're going to be fine. 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 Emily Matheson. Here we go. Five bucks here to go to five. Five dollars here. Five dollars here to go to five. Five dollars here. Five dollars here to go to three. I'm a five here to go to five dollars here to go to five. We got five hundred dollars from Lord Tolls. One hundred dollars from the Pest Control guys. You two stay here. Five hundred dollars from Lord Tolls. Five hundred dollars from the Pest Control guys. You two stay here. Five hundred dollars from Lord Tolls. Five hundred dollars from the Pest Control guys. You two stay here. Five hundred dollars from Lord Tolls. Five hundred dollars from the
So, so she's told me, and she's getting grumpy. We got to go do some rides. I'm not doing them. You already got your ride ticket set up? No? She's getting mad, guys. <laughs> so what ride, what, what do you want to do today? Are you going to hit this, the Ferris wheel? What about the zipper? Oh, she's got to hit the zipper. You guys got to do the zipper when you're at the fair. All right, look, let's go. This, this is my favorite ride back here. You're gonna beat your sister like that, little brother? How are you gonna shake out sister like that? Sis, you gonna do the zipper? All right, brother. You gonna do the zipper today? Yes, you are. You're gonna do some flips, right? <laughs> guy's over here flipping grease up on that thing mm-hmm yeah doesn't that look healthy all right so when you're at the carnival and the fair you got to get a foot-long corn dog mustard what do they call these I don't even know funnel cake a funnel cake so I got a funnel cake with Nutella and I got me a soda as well. <laughs> okay, do you want to say anything about what you ate at the carnival? So, because <laughs> we all have comments about this. So, <laughs> I was actually on a diet when I went to this freaking uh, Southern Nevada Junior Livestock Association uh, Fair and Rodeo. And that, that's a mouthful, by the way, just like what I put in my mouth afterwards. Um, and, uh, yeah, that foot-long corn dog. You, you zooming in on the gut. <laughs> it. Uh, if you guys haven't been to a, a true fair and carnival, you need to go have some of that good old greasy food. It, uh, and it really hits the spot. Any thoughts on his cuisine choices? It's funny. It's funny that he's always on a diet. <laughs> he's always eating. <laughs> The giant greasy corn dogs and the funnel cakes with a side of soda. <laughs> Diet though. <laughs> Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> um, a foot long corn dog with mustard. Really, Ryan? I can hear your wife yelling at you. All right, so I'm here in Southern Nevada with the uh, Matheson kids. The pest control guys will donate some money to you guys showing your animals. And I decided to fly my daughter out with me. Thanks for being here, sis. Uh, these guys all show pigs at the Junior Livestock Fair. And uh, y'all did pretty good, but little sis ended up doing the best today, right? Fourth place, fifth place. Yeah. <laughs> good job, you two. Hey, look. As pest control guys, we want to give back to everybody and everywhere that we can. And we figured this livestock association was a good place to donate some money. Thanks for tuning in.
specifically oh, because of that judge. Oh, uh, you're pretty. You're pretty. Is that how you show? With a big starfish on your chest? You would have liked it. Were you on display or were you? I was a specimen back in the day. <laughs> These guys love that I'm shooting video all the time. Huh, sis? Judging. Learn a lot about raising animals. Learn a lot about life, actually, because it's a terminal show. And, uh,. <laughs> People get to eat those little critters afterwards. So, live and learn, right? You may have just ruined it for everybody. <laughs> okay. So is this where you guys keep your animals? No, this is where you sleep at night? Mom doesn't want you guys at home? You don't like my accent? What the fudge, man? <laughs> Megan. I hear you're really messy, so your mom keeps you here at night. Yeah. Is that true? We call her Meg Ryan. You see it? Their resemblance? With a pole in your face? <laughs> yeah, he eats it like... Emily, so is, what's... It, is it normal that they just go around and just smack these pigs all day? Well, it's better that than their husbands or wives. Shandon and uh, Emily, I gotta ask, you guys have these little uh, sticks with whips on them, and people are probably pretty concerned watching this, and you guys are beating the snot out of these pigs. What, what are you doing with those sticks? It actually doesn't hurt that bad, as I'll show. <laughs> yeah, they actually just use a little stick. So is it just... I think I even got some pig crap on my shoe. That'll smell good on the airplane. 